So I'm in uh, Yamate, just arrived at Yamate Station, and uh, I've also just finished reading Tom Gates. Uh, this is book two, Excellent Excuses and Other Good Stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do a review of this book because, well, I've done a review of the first Tom Gates book, um, and a lot of the things I liked in that I liked in this book as well. Um, instead, I thought I would talk about a favourite shop of mine, a shop that I think that Tom Gates would really like. So uh, let's have a look at that. shop that I think Tom Gates would like is this one. It's called CN Square and um, let's have a look at uh, the different floors that they've got before we go in. Now I like to start up on the third floor and then work my way down so that I'm ready to, to go at the end. Let's go and have a look. If Tom Gates visited Hong Kong, I would take him to CN Square in Yao Ma Te. I think he would like this shop because there are lots of notebooks, sketch pads and blank journals that he could fill with doodles. There are lots of different types of pens and pencils too. I wonder whether Tom would be interested in scrapbooking. I think he would, because he likes decorating his work and he's very creative. There is a huge selection of materials for making scrapbooks in CN Square, so I could show these to Tom. Your turn. Think of a character from a book you like, then think about a place you would take him. What are their interests or hobbies? What is their personality like? What are their likes and dislikes? Bonus content. How to draw 3D text like Tom Gates. So first of all, you need to write your, whatever it is you're writing, your word or your phrase. Um, you need to write it nice and big and you need to try and make sure it sort of lines up. So you need to have both, if, if you're making it two lines then the two lines need to be almost the same length. After you've done that go around the letters to make them um, thick and fat, a bit like bubble writing. And you can do that just by imagining how each letter, uh, each line would look if you made it a bit wider and a bit thicker. You can go over everything in ink. Now, for the 3D part, you need to choose a point somewhere in the middle of the text that uh, you're writing. So for me, I'm using the dot in Mr. O, because it's kind of in the middle. Then you need to imagine a line going from all of the corners of the letters into this dot. Now, don't go crazy. You don't need to do a line from every single little bit. Just enough to sort of make it look like it's shooting out towards you. You can rub out the pencil lines as well. Finally, it's quite nice to um, shade in the, the, the letters, just the letters, not the, the 3D parts. So uh, I quite like to turn the paper to one side and keep colouring or keep, keep uh, scribbling until it's all filled in, but only in that direction. 
then if you need to you can add some other coloring in a different direction as well and that's it 3d text just like in Tom Gates <laughs>